What's up guys? We found this awesome twisty road right here, right off downtown. And it goes in a circle. That's what's really cool about it. And it uh it's got different elevations, turn sharpnesses and you know whatnot. It's just really cool. The only problem I found with it is like there's way too many cars on it and stuff like that. Sometimes gravel. But uh today I'm gonna talk a little bit about getting a first motorcycle. You know, you might be shopping for a motorcycle or considering getting a first motorcycle. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what you should be looking for. I shouldn't say like that because I don't want to be telling you anything. Just take this all as advice. I'll just tell you guys what I've been doing. Uh, I don't like all those searches on the internet that you find. Better like, you know, start out on the 250, start out on, on this particular bike. Those really weren't helpful at all for me. When I was first looking, I was looking for... Or I was looking on Craigslist, looking on Cycle Trader. Uh, looking around trying to see you know what type of year I wanted how much they went for uh, the condition I wanted uh, miles and then you know other parts on it that were like worn or whatnot so I guess that would also be condition but uh, when I was looking for my first bike I was not looking for anything too nice originally I was looking for um, newer model bikes but after a bit, I started looking for older model bikes. Not older, but like around this year. This is a 2006 uh, CBR 600. So I was looking on there, uh, looking at 250s, CBR 600s. I never went higher than a 600 because originally what I was looking for when I first started looking was a 600. But everyone on the internet was saying, you know, don't get a 600. You're gonna die. You're gonna be an idiot. Oh, you're an idiot. You're gonna you're gonna lay it down. You're gonna whiskey throttle on your first, and the, they're all basically all the videos were saying that type of stuff, you know. And then the comments were all freaking out. So, um, so you know, none of those videos were helpful at all for me. So I just kept my searching, and I just basically realized that I wanted a a not perfect condition. You know, I was looking at the uh, 2,000 2,000 miles garage kept, never seen rain. Um, maintenance kept up bike, whatever. I was looking at that bike. I was looking at the uh, some body damage. Or it wasn't it wasn't body damage when I bought it. There was some uh, like some few scratches on the on the fairings and then a little cracked piece. So it wasn't like a bent frame or something like that. I was just looking for you know minor damage. Um, and then I also was looking. I wanted to get a bike with like 10,000 miles, 10 to 15, but I ended up actually getting a bike with 20,000 miles, which still wasn't that bad. Um, I'm probably going to keep riding it until maybe 35, 40,000 miles, which is probably going to be pretty soon because I just ride this thing constantly. I'm already, I bought it at 20,000, and I'm at 27, about to be 28,000 miles, so they're stacking up. So once I figured out everything, you know, miles, condition, everything, I went and looked at a couple bikes, um, and you know, just kept looking around. And then I started looking on the internet and looking at reviews of bikes, which was really helpful for me. Looking at reviews of particular bikes, I looked at reviews of CBR 600s, Jigster 600s, um, R6s. Uh, 250s and whatnot. And just looking at the different riding positions, I looked at the weights. Um, you know, I w looked at bike versus bike as far as like 600 race or Jigster 600 race and the CBR 600. And uh, not that that even mattered for the first bike. I was just trying to get a comparison in power and stuff. What is going on? <laughs> So yeah, anyways, um, you know, once I looked at all that stuff, power, riding position, um, I just basically looked at anything that, like any feature on these bikes that I wouldn't know particularly without having riding experience. So all those videos out there were really helpful for me. They were saying that the CBR had the best riding position, um, you know, handlebar positioning and seat cushions and whatnot. And then uh, they're also saying it had the best gear ratio. Because there's some bikes out there that uh, all the power doesn't kick in really until you get to high RPMs. 
There's still consistent power, but it doesn't doesn't really kick in until you get to higher RPMs. So yeah, after looking at that, I just came to the conclusion that uh, the this, this CBR was really the best bike for me. And then I started looking around, and I actually looked at this bike once on Craigslist. A lot, uh, like, it sat on Craigslist for two months before I actually went and picked it up. Um, so I looked at it once, and then started doing all my research on what bike I wanted, and then went back and looked at it again, and then ended up buying it. Actually, I might have looked at it three times, and then went and bought it. Um, and what was funny is when I went to buy this, I told the guy that I had dirt bike experience and whatnot, and he said that I couldn't ride it without cash. And somehow uh, I convinced him to let me ride it, and I rode it with no experience. Actually, I rode, he already had a bike before, um, before I got mine, so I rode his uh, bike that he had, and then had maybe like, I rode it on a parking lot once, and had that much experience. And then went and rode this bike that I was going to buy. So that was pretty funny. Um, I could have been a part of that typical Craigslist story where you sell your midlife crisis bike and the guy tolls it. So I'm glad I didn't though and I ended up actually getting the bike and everything went well. Um, so basically I don't think you guys should... Uh, should be getting a bike that someone tells you to get. Um, I don't think you should be get like if someone's telling you to get a 250, get a 600, get a 1000. I think you should get the bike that when you think, hmm, I want to get a motorcycle. Oh, here's a bike that I want to get. I think you should get the size and general type of motorcycle that you thought about when you originally thought about getting a motorcycle. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, uh, I guess basically just get the, uh, not the bike of your dreams, but the bike that you would enjoy the most, um, because, you know, at the end of the day, it's for your own enjoyment, and if you're go getting on the internet and everyone's telling you to get a 250 as your first bike, and you know the first bike you're thinking about getting is like a, a Cruiser 650 or something, or a, or, you know, like a 600 CBR or something, or a 600 Jigster. Um, and, you know, everyone's telling you get a 250, and then you get your 250, and you get bored of it, and then you struggle to try to sell on Craigslist, and it just becomes a whole bunch of waste of time. Um, you also need to take into account the weight, and whether if you're going to be comfortable uh, clutching and throttling. When I first started riding, I was pretty nervous uh, functioning and throttle. I've had experience shifting gears, so that wasn't a problem. Um, I never drove an automatic car, so uh, I, was, I was pretty comfortable with that. And I've never rode a uh, motorcycle, so I was pretty nervous about functioning the throttle. So um, it wasn't too hard to learn how to use the throttle. Actually, it wasn't hard at all. But, you know, just take it slow and learn all the basics, and you should be fine. Um, no one here on the Internet can tell you what bike's going to be best for you because nobody knows your riding environment. Um, you know, conditions and stuff, weather and whatnot you're going to be riding in. So so basically just get the bike that you're going to feel most comfortable on in your environment. Um, don't just go to the dealership one day and just buy that bike that they're trying to sell you. I mean, whatever bike it might be. Make sure you know your research on your bike and get the bike that fits you best. I hope this video is helpful. If it was, be sure to leave a like, favorite, subscribe. And yes, just a video. See you later. Thank you for viewing.